Hey guys, Emma again. Welcome back. Next part of this little steam engine build. We've got to make a casting. And to do that we've got to make a pattern. It's just aluminium casting and we're going to make a wooden pattern. We've got a block of hardwood here which probably isn't really the best thing to make a pattern for one off use out of but it'll be a nice thing when it's finished. If we have a look here at the at the book, this is the piece that we need to cast and just in aluminium. So we don't have a whole lot of information about this. There's a name and address to pick up a resin cast pattern for school use. Not a lot of use to me, so I'm going to make a pattern. It's in two pieces, it's a split pattern. So basically we need to cut this piece out here first. And I've cut a piece of hardwood. It's 32 by 65 and about 90 mil long. And marked on both sides the, the draft angles. There. And I've got the scroll saw out and set it up nice and vertical. We're going to try cutting him out. About an hour later, I've cut this out and trued it up with a file and a nice sharp chisel and put a fair bit of body filler in it and all the holes and marked it out. This is the general shape here. There's a radius on the corners here and then it's across here and across here. Bit of taper on the bottom. And it's got to have a piece still in made to go in there, but we might do that. Actually, if we're going to cut that out, we might as well do it now. So probably the next bit is to make something to go in there, to glue it in. So I've got a bit of... Actually, I've got a bit of pine I might glue in there. It's probably nice and easy to work and get smooth, so that might be the best thing. We'll do that next. So, as you've probably realised, my woodwork skills are pretty crap. I really have never have a done enough of it to be proficient. But I did laminate up this piece of pine. Uh, just some 8mm boards I had with some PVA glue and I've cut this piece out which will fit nicely like that and probably do the job next job I guess is to glue this in find the center so I'll mark the center in from each end and find the center of that and we'll clamp him and glue him overnight probably and we can start to cut out the shape which is really starting to look like it might actually work so let's find the center of that We should be with our square 32 and a half mil. And I've marked the centre of that one. And that should glue in there. Whether it needs a screw or something, I don't know. Probably it wouldn't hurt. But that's a fairly nice fit there. Just how it needs to be. Had a little bit of tear out here on the front, but a bit of filler will fix that when I finally file it all off. And it wants to be a little bit under that too anyway. So, let's put some glue on there and clamp it up. I don't think this needs very much on it. The trouble is with getting it all over your fingers is that 
you get all over everything else too. That's a nice coating. Nice and central there. And let's let him be for a little bit. So I just realised I was getting ahead of myself a bit here. This is what I've done. It's all fitted together and glued up and I've cut the perimeter around with a bit of a a bit of angle all the way around there to release out of the mould and I've started putting a bit of a fillet in there with some filler it probably could do with some more I reckon and I've glued up two bits of cupboard backing which is just a three mil melamine chipboard whatever and mark that out with the holes on it now these two holes are for dowels, we need to locate them. So this one's right in the centre. What I've done is made three little transfer punches. So we put this one through so it just pokes through so that it's right in the centre there. We turn this round so that it's in the right spot. And it's a little bit proud all the way around. We can trim it to match or put a bit of filler in it or whatever, but that's probably about where it wants to be. And put this one through here. And this one through here. I just give them a bit of a tap with a hammer. We should have two centre marks there, so we'll drill them. They've got to be blind, they don't want to come through. Because this is the piece that goes with the mould and this piece sits on top of it, that's the bit that needs the dowels in it. So we'll just drill them through a little bit. And we'll have them down together. So a couple of hours again. And this is what we've got. It's all nice and smooth. And I've got to fill it all the way around here. And I've got a couple of dowels in here. Timber dowels. And take that apart. And that part of the pattern's pretty much finished. It probably wants a little, some raised letters or something on there. We might think about that yet. This has still got to have a cut out for the, for the cylinder. And a circle here where the flywheel fits in. So we'll have to think about that. It's also just a, a fraction low on this side here. Don't know how that happened. You can see that there. So I might need a bit of filler in there, but and we've got to glue these in and file them off nice and neat. And give it a clean up and some paint. So next job, mark this top groove out here, nice and neat, and cut him out. And do something about cutting this circle in here, which is about About inch and a half or 35 mil or something diameter. So it wants a bit of a bit of angle on it too, so it releases out the mould. They both do. So we'll do that. So Sunday came and went, and this is what I ended up with this morning, Monday morning. Pretty basically this is our pattern. This goes in the mould first. And then this one goes on top. And it's got a bit of relief that way and that way. 
all the way through. A couple of dowel holes in there to hold it all together. And it's pretty nicely finished, so next thing to coat of paint. So I found last month's copy of the Indus, Time, Indus Age, which is a fantastic, well-balanced newspaper that you pick up at the Indian Grocer. Um, well worth a look. The personal section is particularly good. Um, and if you're thinking on a holiday, on a holiday to anywhere in the Far East, the airfare ads are fantastic too. But it isn't a bad paper. All jokes aside, I am fairly well read. And found a little paintbrush, which is lately from my dye tin. So there's a little bit of a blue tinge to our undercoat. It ain't going to hurt anything. This is just a quick dry undercoat to use for making signs. Sort of an hour and it's ready to sand. So we'll give this a, an hour and clean it up. And probably put some top coat on. Anyway, given time for paint to dry and a gloss coat of red, this is what we've got. It's a two piece pat pattern. If you have a look, it's got dowels to hold it together. And hopefully it should be alright. Got our draft angles looking all okay. So final shot of it all put together there. That's where the casting's gonna sit. It's Nicely in line there, and this pipe here runs through here and out to the valve chest here. And the flywheel sits, oh, the, the crankshaft disc sits in here, and the piston goes on the outside. As you can see, it's starting to look pretty good. I've been reluctant to make this and to upload it because it probably means I've got to put my money where my mouth is and look to casting the engine. So it's starting to look like something. So more soon, guys, and thanks for watching.